shot have kick off Josh Barrett is going to take it and we are underway here Rob Worrell and Julian Walters for BBC Surrey here in Somerset against McGuckin and he got up and won it and as Yeovil dwell on it Gandor wins it and shots quickly send it out to for Gandor to chase, he holds off his man, no foul this time, he's into the left-hand side of the penalty area, pulls it back, shot on goal, hits a Yeovil player, they don't think they knew anything about it. Incredible, from Tetek, he struck it towards goal, and it literally hit the one Yeovil player that was on the line and came away, a big let-off for Yeovil, and anywhere else, if Tetek had stuck it, that was a goal. Yeah. Now Yeovil are through the middle with the number 11. Jordan Young and his shot is saved, I think, by the chest of Dewhurst. Corner to Yeovil. Two massive opportunities for both sides to score. One ball straight through the middle, undoing all the shot there, but Dewhurst coming to the rescue. In comes the corner. It's headed away by Cameron Hargreaves, and it's a well placed header. It finds Ryan Jones, who plays it forward and finds Tetek. And all the shot, I've got men here. It's three against two. Uh, Tetek plays it out to the left to Henry, Henry sends in the cross, Barrett takes it down. Can he get it under control? Tries a little chip, finish, what a goal! This time it's come off, this time it's paid off for Josh Barrett. All the shot with a huge advantage going forward, three, maybe even four against two. Intelligent pass from Henry, taken down by Barrett and a lovely clipped finish into the gap. Shots have taken the lead in the seventh minute. Yeovil nil, Aldershot Town one. Lovely move with uh, Ellison up to Jones, who finds Barrett on the left side. Uh, up against Morgan Williams, sends in the cross. Akpan strokes it to Henry, who tries a curled shot and does the same thing as Barrett in terms of picking a spot. But on this occasion, it was well read by Ollie Wright. But a second opportunity for shots in time inside the opening 11 minutes. Yeovil nil, shots one. Uh, corner then to Yeovil into the near post, Akpan battles hard, it comes back out, turned round the corner to the edge of the area, then clipped in by McGavin and then lifted towards goal by, I think, uh, Morgan Williams, but he just uh, got his radar wrong, just clipped it, it was always going wide and where we're positioned here behind the shot, we could always see that, so we didn't necessarily have hearts in mouths. Steady, assured, first 15 minutes from Ellison. He's on the ball again now after receiving it from Ryan Jones and now he switches the play and James Henry has started to run out to the right side. Can he keep it in? He does keep it in. Gandor's trying to meet, meet it near post and can't quite get there but the ball has come loose and then it's been smothered at the second attempt. Rather scruffy bit of defensive play by uh, Yeovil and another corner to the shot, Julian. Quick word from you. Yeah, great uh, diagonal pass from Dan Ellison. He said in his uh, pre-match interview that he, he loves to do that and James Henry found a great position out on the right-hand side. A little bit of a scramble in the goal, but um, eventually Yeovil have got it out for a corner. Uh, another corner then for shots. In from Josh Barrett. Oh, Mag Homer, thumping header, smashes against the crossbar. McGavin's the one doing all the counting the steps backwards and everything. Young's just looking passive. That might be an indication. No, he's going to run away from it now. It's Brett McGavin, free kick outside the edge of the area, got through the wall somehow, Dewhurst kept a good eye on it and beat it away to his left and the shots keeper continues in his uh, excellent current form. And then a dangerous looking pass but to be fair Noble's done well and he might get a chance inside the area here, Noble. It's well blocked, brilliant tracking back from Lackey Bird and then he tries to get it in again, the ball comes off of Bird and uh, he's holding it in down by the corner flag. And now Yeovil are into the penalty area and they pull the ball back and it's shot. Oh, what a save from Marcus Dewhurst. It might be the best one of the entire season. Absolute thumping effort from McGavin. There might have even been a deflection in there, but somehow Marcus Dewhurst kept it out. And it's Woking nil, Sutton United two. Woken above the shots coming into today's games. That may not be the case at the end of the play. Here's 
Josh Barrett going to try a shot from distance. It's a really good one. It's beaten away out to the right-hand side where Akpan sends it back in to that man Barrett again. He's inside the penalty, squares it. Toe towards goal. It's off a, a Yeovil player. It goes behind the goal. It's another corner to the shots who look right on it today, certainly going forward. Uh, there's a good winner from Ellison. Comes off his head at a strange angle. Lucky Bird not only wins the next header but guides it straight to ball shot coming down the right hand side again with James Henry ball inside to Barrett his first touch is good inside the edge of the area now he turns and faces up sends in the clip ball to the far post and it's just wide and I'm not sure if that was another outrageous attempt at a goal or not in fact the keeper might have got fingers on it it's gone behind for another corner to shots and uh, Yeovil take the free kick quickly from the wrong place Hargreaves has won it back but then lost it again to Cooper and uh, now, Dylan Morgan comes down this uh, right-hand side. Halfway inside the shot's half, back to Bernard, and Bernard back to Cooper. Cooper up to Jordan Young, smart turn from him. Is he going to try a shot from distance? He is, and uh, maybe was just going over anyway, but it brushed the fingertips of Dewhurst, who again refused to be beaten by it, and uh, it's gone behind for a corner to Yeovil. Goes back to Ollie Wright, he clears out to the right-hand side and Nuble uh, can't win it, nor can Hargreaves cleanly, but Ryan Jones picks up the ball. He's got Barrett on the outside of him, touches it to Gandor. Gandor lays it back to Tetek, who tries a shot and curls it wide by 1L. And then that ball drops over Maghoma, who gives it to McGuckin. McGuckin out to the right-hand side to Jordan Young. He's going back for the return, McGuckin, and he shoots. And he scores. And the Oval have equalised in a game where they've been second best for much of it. But a lovely interchange between the two Yeovil forwards. And it is Kieran McGuckin who levels for Yeovil in the 58th minute. One all. Waiting back, Dewhurst sends it forward. Referee's not looking at his watch at this moment. Ball is knocked down, cleared forward. There is the final whistle, and it ends here at Hewish Park. Yeovil 1, Aldershot Town 1.